This is going to be pain. Back before I was spawned, when I was choosing my character stat sheets, I sacrificed all my points in perception just so I could get a few extra points in logic, and now I'm suffering for my sins. Why is it these two filled in? Maybe it's because it's like empty space in between two blacks. Okay, great theory. So try marking this. No, mark this too. Maybe? Maybe I don't need much perception. Maybe I just needed to try some rule. Well, let's check out this one. So this one's marked for sure and between two blacks. Well, would this work too? That's wrong. Well, my rule wasn't right. Okay. Maybe I've got to, maybe I've got to separate the black sections. Maybe that's what it is. So mark all the white ones and then separate the black sections. Seems like I got to fill in squares that are above and below black pieces and maybe possibly directly in between two of them. It just seems like you almost have to carve them out with negative space somehow. So here, you just carve above and below. Oh, yeah, maybe that's part of it. It's above and below and directly in between. Now, what I don't know is when I got in here, these aren't like... <laughs> paintings anymore uh maybe it's just an entirely different mechanic altogether where i just kind of fill in where it's majority white maybe there's an easier one to start with the three of diamonds maybe that's not so bad like i'll mark where it's a majority white see that it's wrong and cry a little try the second floor of gimmicks here where i have some what the f what is this i have 11 inputs one two three four five and 12 points so maybe i could just measure or press the button for where the line goes up so down up down up 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 down 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 up up wow <laughs> i just solved the puzzle what about this one well i could do the same thing right there's 8.7 spots so i just have to imagine the line and where it goes up is where i fill in so down up down up up down up okay what if i imagined that this spot was like equivalent to this spot so it doesn't go down it just goes across then down then down then up up down down on does the other one help out a little bit better well this one's up then down then up then down then up then up then down that's right Oh, ah, yeah, this is the catch. It flips from here. It's just from the perspective of the puzzle. So from here goes down, then up, then down, then up, then down, down, then up. And from the side? Oh, I see. Yeah, you read it from left to right now. So it goes down, then up, then down, then up, then down, then up, then down. And now we look at it from the perspective of here. So I think what I'll be looking at specifically is distance from the center. So that's down, and then up, and then up, and then down, and then up, and then down, and then down. That's right. Up being further from the center, down being towards the center. And this is shifted a little. Ten dots, nine inputs. So it goes down, and then up, and then up. Yeah, up by a little bit. Well, no, 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 no. It goes from here to here, which is down, and then up and then down, and then down, and then up, and then down, and then up. Oh, so it's ups and downs. That's pretty big. Have I solved this? Well, red, I, maybe I have to look in, at the red within this painting. Maybe not necessarily ups and downs, maybe just height somehow. Maybe it's just larges and smalls. Maybe I just press the ones that cor spawn to the large ones. So large red, large red. Large red, large red. No large reds in third row. And then, well, I don't know what to do with medium red. Maybe medium red? Okay, medium red is good. So the blues, you can kind of look at it in the same way, except it's a little off screen. So the top three are large, then the left one is large, and then the bottom three are large. So it should be like this. And now I definitely am getting it. And then yellow, oh, yellow is just so far away. What are the dimensions? Four by three? Great, I gotta memorize. So, right two, and then one, three, four, and then first one. Now I have right two, one, three, four, first one. Okay. Take me up. Maybe there's more I can do here. 
Interesting, working with different colors, it would seem. Five by six maps to this. What am I filling in though? I mean, what color do I really want? This is all different colors. This is black and white. Maybe that's closer to an understanding. Oh, wait, there's multiple colors here. That helps. Hold on. Yeah, maybe I gotta just start here. I almost want to picture just the light ones, which look like this. And that's correct. You can see the lights go in the same pattern as the one I put in. And then the two colors, maybe I'll mark the darker the blues, which look like this. I should have done it the other way around, literally the opposite of what I input. Mark the lighter of blues because it comes lighter when I press. This becomes lighter when I press, so I'll mark the lighter of the browns. Okay, so you mark the lighter colors. Here, what if I just mark the whites and not the grays? Okay, I'm going to include the grays as well. Or, oh, what if the whites are yeses, blacks are noes, and grays are maybe, depending on logic. Good God, and then I have to apply that logic I learned outside. I hope it's not that, but it is. Oh, it so is. That's fine. That's fine. I can... I, I kind of knew the logic. Directly above and below black. And then in between two blacks. Well, I never really truly learned that rule. I could at least solve the ones on the outside, surely. Maybe not. Because this, this probably applies it further. And this applies it further. And I don't actually know what's happening here. I mean, it's checkerboard, so this would probably count as a white. But I haven't learned what counts as gray. Or what gray counts as. Well, this works. At least I just picked out the squares that had the white. I mean, you mark the lighter color, that's for sure. Here you just really mark the lighter colors, but pay attention to detail. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm realizing the the light hitting it kind of creates like a darker shade for different directions. So let's see how I can explain this. I'm actually gonna go from top left to bottom right, explain my logic anyway. So the left, even though it's the same color as this, this one is dark, this one is light. Because this is facing the light, this is away from the light. So this is good. And then these two are both light. So, because they're facing the light and super bright. These are extremely dark, darker than this. So they're facing the light and wrong. This is facing the light and right. This one is facing the light and wrong. But this one is facing away from the light and right. This is facing the light and right. This is facing away and right. This is facing the light and wrong. Facing away from the light and wrong. Facing the light and r right? And this is facing away and right. Now this is facing the light and right. This is facing away and wrong. Facing the light and right. Facing away and right. Facing the light and wrong. Facing away and right. And then this is facing the light and right. Facing away and wrong. Facing the light and wrong. Facing away and right. And then the other two are both wrong. Oh my god, I think I finally at least get this much. Oh, that means I can solve this. So I have to wonder how that applied to the blocks below, because I realized facing the light versus not facing the light is kind of everything. Here there's actually a lot of different colors, which I don't know what to make of. Like, there's three random blues. Anyway, facing the light and right, facing away and wrong, facing the light and wrong, facing away and probably right. And then this one's probably right, and then I know this one's right for sure. This one's probably right. Send it. Okay, I did have it right. Yeah, because this is lighter than this. Which means I definitely can solve this one now. So the whites are right for sure, and then you just pick the gray ones that are facing away. Which is here, 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 and here, here, and here, here, and here. Ah, yes! Did I miss any? There's a balcony. Ooh... You'll love the building. Some of these windows are very puzzle-like, too. I'm not going to read into it yet, though. Just because I ha it has similarities to a puzzle doesn't mean it actually has anything to do with the puzzle. So now... Well, this is, like, just identifying art. I wonder what the best one to actually start with is. I think there's going to be some that are going to give me more of a clue than others. This is very abstract. Uh, but this one actually kind of does give me a bit of a clue. This is the edge, and then the bricks are what I fill in is in fact five by six so these three are lighter bricks these two are lighter bricks these four are lighter bricks these two are and this one is a lighter brick 
these three are lighter bricks and then these whoops these two are lighter bricks solved it snowman man so i think i just put in the super light ones so these are all oh wait no i marked the dark ones kind of like this like this Wait a second, are these diamonds? There's no way that this is supposed to be a mines puzzle, right? There's no way. If I get this right, is there like a secret entrance that opens to the mines? Those are diamonds. They're white diamonds. I don't know, man. I'm going to come back to that one. That's just weird. Well, I still don't really know how to identify art. Wait, these, these are flowers, though. These are just the other puzzle mechanics. Diamonds and threes. Flowers. Dots. Dots. This one might be easiest. Okay, hold on. The other puzzle mechanics are here. This is a three dot of white, and then two dot of black, one dot of black. Section of three, section of three. <laughs> oh my god. All right, three white dots, three white dots, one white dot, three white dots, two black dots, black dot, black dot. Are there any others? That is insane. I cannot believe you did this. Five, six, I need seven. I could also do attach to three. This is not quite enough. This should work. Did I miss one? The black dot's a oneer. This black dot's a oneer and blocked off, of course. Three, three, one. Oh, this adds up to nine. This is 10. I was just counting wrong. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. So two black dots and then a bunch of flowers. Yeah, I believe this is section of two. This is all purple flower, all purple. One gold petal. Wow. This is absolutely genius. I think this works for the bottom. I could do this, I suppose. I suppose I could do this instead. Section two has got to go down. So maybe looking like this. Well, what the hell then? Hold on. This is really weird. Section of two, where does it go? It can't go to the right because there's a purple flower there. It can't go to the left because this would be different in validating this purple flower. And it can't go up either. So it has to go down. Section of two going down, which means that these are marked. This would have to be marked and then, but now it's not a section of two, it's a section of six. How did this happen? Oh, wait, new idea. These aren't dots, they're just, in fact, eyes because two dots is shown diagonally and they're also not far enough to be two single dots. I'll just ignore the dots entirely. Yeah, yeah, good plan, good plan. Always love it when a good plan comes together. That's not it. Well, this flower is satisfied. These flowers are both satisfied. This flower is satisfied. This one's satisfied. This one's satisfied. This one's satisfied. Okay, maybe I have to go back to caring about two dots again. Or do I think there's like an evil third dot in there? Yeah, the more I think about it, the less two dots makes any sense. I'm going to come back to this one. This one, at least I understand. Three is referring to what mechanic? Diamonds need pairs. So I got a pair of diamonds with a three. Size of six for the hell of it. Size of three, size of three. Nice. And I did see diamonds here. There are just, in fact, more dots. There's a dot two, one dot, two dots. So then I imagine these two got to go together. And these two got to go together. And then just kind of mark off the sections. Two, one, and two. Then I did solve this. This one's got two diamonds. I like how you can actually see in the background of the artwork, it kind of sets up the grid a bit. Oh, and these are minus signs. Oh, minus signs can be a thing. I gotta think about that for the owl puzzle. There's a lot of slashes too. Two minuses, two slashes? Three slashes, sorry. And one of each diamond. So a diamond has to pair with a slash? Well, I could try something like that. It's pretty long. So maybe try something more like this instead. Slash. And like that. And then how do I pair the diamond and these slashes. Well, one's gotta be negative space. I almost wonder if I should just start with them. Like I could do a square if I wanted and then draw a negative space. Then I could try like an S piece instead. Ooh, that doesn't quite work actually. Wait, yes it does. This works. And this is an S piece. Oh, okay, let's go back to the owl. These still seem like dots. Nowhere a line could be right to I mean, the branch it's sitting on is too long to be a line. It's two dots, but it makes no sense with its surroundings. You know what? I actually do think it is binary. <laughs> I guess his eyes are like zero over zero. That's the only other lead I got. It doesn't look like it to me, but uh, I've made my whole perceptions feel. 
so I'm just getting desperate at this point. I think it's not filled in. I'm actually pretty sure that's what it is. This is not filled in because it's not a zero on top of a one. So that means this is filled in. These are all not filled in, which means this is not filled in, which means this is filled in, not filled in. Now we're getting somewhere. This could be, I mean, it could be either way. Not filled in, these two are filled in. And then these are just not filled in. This would work. It was binary. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I could see how it would be a zero. It's not the strongest zero ever, but I mean, it is a painting. It's meant to be hidden. Listen, I gave my whole spiel. I don't want to hear any shit. So wait, hold on. This is solvable? Why is the wire coming from this? Maybe I just missed the puzzle somewhere? Well, I guess it could go downstairs. So, lots of barrels. Lots of interesting placed bottles within the holster. Like, somehow I have to relate this to the puzzle? Well, if I take this, tilt it on its side, maybe there's some merit? I was thinking this isn't filled in, these two are filled in, these three are filled in, none in this column are filled in, and then these two are filled in. It's not quite it. I think I just need to take this, rotate it about 45 degrees counterclockwise, and that's how it's solved. So bottom left, and then both of these. And then, yeah, this makes way more sense. These two have nothing. Top and bottom, nothing. And then this has something. There we go. There we go. There we go. The, the, what are you referring to? You're just going to give me more? And then I got to make a puzzle here somehow? I got to puzzle. I got to make a platform? Let me just look around real quick. Well, I see this window. Is it time to invoke this window? Right, left, left, right, left. Right, left, left, right, left. Is it time? Son of a bitch. Also, this pattern is showing up. I feel like I have to draw this pattern on the floor. Yeah, the pattern is in fact eight high. I think I actually start here. So I'll draw out the pattern, it's just a big swirly. Solved. Now, I'm just saying this panel is the same as these windows. Well, this window looks a little different now that I've actually solved the floor puzzle. I mean, that's a hell of a read. If it's just two rows, that would, that would be cracked. That would have been too cracked. So even if the tall one refers to a window, which I haven't finished looking at, what the hell could this one refer to? That one could maybe refer to my path through here. No, this is like kind of a three high path, if you will. You know, I should try the inverse of the broken window. There is always that possibility, which is a very real possibility now that I consider it. Son of a b- <laughs> I love this area. This one I actually was not able to latch onto a single thing. Are there six windows on this floor? Or are there more just outside the reach? I mean, there's more on this floor, but not on this face of the wall. Well, I guess this is still a window order. One, two, three, four, five, six on this face. Well, no, there's kind of seven on this face, including these. I am really reading into it now. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, some of these windows are red. Some of them aren't red. Kind of reminded me of puzzles. I'm gonna remember, I feel like that's actually a solution for a different puzzle. It doesn't seem like the solution for this puzzle, but it feels like the solution for a puzzle. Oh, it's the floor tiles. God, that was hard to pick out. Here it is. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! Finally, is the perception over? Can I like get back the things I'm actually good at, please? Yes, I've done it. The flame is lit. So is the red carpets aren't a puzzle at all. Anyway, back to that secret area. And here I am. So, you mark the whites for sure. This I never really fully actually learned. <laughs> you just kind of smother the black pieces and hope it works out. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> no, I don't think I ever learned this rule. I turned it into a checkerboard pattern. Don't care, it's solved. Let's get the ones in the middle. All right, this is the kind of puzzles I live for. There's no way that the dots are going to be able to combine with, well, either of these. Yeah, without the black diamonds. So I'm most likely combining the black diamonds with the slashes. That's fun. 
So it's going to be symmetrical. So you got to do a little rotational symmetry. This is going to go with this. So this is going to be marked off. Yeah, what if I just try something that comes up and grabs? Well, that's not right. Yeah, that's that's backwards. I mean, I suppose I can do this. That's fine. Just grab the yellow. This has to be filled in. And I've still got to meet up. Yeah, okay. No, no, this works. This works just fine. Just got to figure out how to attach it. And I'm probably going to need to bring it around like this. Probably don't want to hit this, so I don't hit the two. Bring it up and over. Like that. So this is a section of two. This is not quite the section I'm looking for, but it's still a section. Three's got to be joined. So now I got everything except a few things. Yeah, these... These cannot be in the same section as the rest. Well, I could just go around, I suppose. Try going around like this. Just like that. Still symmetrical. Ooh. Yeah, I, it's almost there, but not quite. Reset. I think I actually went just the wrong way into the middle dots. I think I'm still onto something. But I almost have to maybe spiral in. Like go in from this direction, for example. I mean, this sort of thing could work. Also, this is not properly zigzagged. I still gotta do the original zigzag theory I had, which was this. Otherwise, how am I gonna mark that off? I don't know, I still gotta go around these somehow. I mean, how hard can it be? Uh, it just doesn't quite... Oh, so I mark this, I go around the total edge, then I come back in here. So is this right? It's close because the pieces aren't exactly the same, but now they are. All right, next. That's a ton of things. This is a niner. How many negative dots are there? Probably nine. Yeah, there are in fact nine. So I have one forced start. You can just assume these are all on right now. That would make this on. And then all of these on. Does that make sense? The yellows connecting are going to be the tough part. Although I probably could just connect it to this. Now I assume I shouldn't have any black pieces connecting. I think I'm just going to be separating all of them, which so far is going well, except I've hit a roadblock. Everything's good, I think, except for these two. Oh no, I forgot the yellows can join up with the flowers. Oh, gross. I'm going to almost reset. This is ridiculous. Let me just do a weird test thing. I'm going to attach all of the uh, dots as well as one single diamond two diamonds does it work two diamonds does not work i think they try to link up with the black pieces okay so i cannot cover any of these diamonds so this is not going to be the same as this which means this is lit up which means all these are and all these are in fact lit up i could have yellow on the journey too yeah no it, it's the only way just don't cover any of the flowers that's all I guess I could choose to not cover any of the yellow. Yeah, yellows could just link up with the flowers on the outside. So because all of these flowers, I guess not all of them are gonna be off. This one has to be on. So then this is here, this is linked. Yeah, I have to actually get through the yellow to here. And this seems correct then, at least for the right side. Here, let me link the rest of it. I'm gonna quickly reset just to regain my bearings. This has to be filled in. These can't be together. It means these are all filled in. But what I know is this. This has to be filled in and be, can be connected here. None of the black pieces are filled in and all of the dots are filled in. I guess I could have the dots go around the edge, totally link up here. I wouldn't get too far ahead of myself though. Now the one lit up flower can link up with the yellow. I mean, this works beautifully. It's absolutely beautiful. These would have to not be lit up now. Means I can still light this one up. Then I can do some long journey around the edge. Is this it? This is very close. Hold on. If only I could block off the yellow and not the black. Well, this this technically doesn't need to be filled in. I could do this. Holy cow, cool puzzle. You know what I think gives? I think that I need to go finally to the center. Because it's finally time to open the big door. Oh boy, I'm excited to see what lies beyond this door. I mean, I've solved everything. Let's check it out.